hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Sonia and on my channel we have healthy discussions about life love dating and relationships while promoting self-love and healing I also did a lot with mental health my goal is to help individuals have a healthy relationship with themselves with others and to date in a healthy safe manner and you have to be able to recognize some things in order to do that today I'm going to talk about trauma bonding versus bonding over trauma I do analysis of some reality shows and if you watch Married at First Sight, you know, there's a few couples there that are bonding over trauma, right? And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the difference between the two. How do you know you're doing it and how bonding over trauma can actually lead to trauma bonding, but they are not the same. But first and foremost, I want to welcome you to my channel. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider it if you like the content if you are coming back hey family good to see you and thank you for returning please don't forget to like share and comment on my content I appreciate you guys all right trauma bonding and bonding over trauma are two different things bonding over trauma is when you and I share the same traumatic experience and we are bonding over that experience trauma bonding is like it is Stockholm syndrome trauma bonding is when the abused is bonded to the abuser and I feel like it's important to tell the difference between the two so a that you can recognize it so that you won't do it um, and so you can seek help if you need help and things of that sort also the term is misused a lot and so I just wanted to put that out there you know so that we know so bonding over trauma can lead you to trauma trauma bonding and how that happens is you guys bond over your traumatic experiences and you feel like oh I love this person or you become attached to this person because you see that they've been through what you've been through you understand it and you don't want that person to feel what you felt right so you're like I'm going to love on them and I'm gonna support them and I'm going to be to them what I wish someone was to me right and we think we're being healthy but really that's codependency and it can leave you in a place where you yourself can end up bonded to them because remember trauma bonding is bonding with your abuser a lot of times if that person refuses to get help or if they haven't had any help or if the trauma doesn't quite look like yours like it may be similar but there may be some things you may not know like they may have experienced or seen a lot of physical abuse for them loving someone looks like physical abuse right and now you're hooked to this person because you have bonded over your other traumatic experiences or that experience and you have now become the abused so this is a hard lesson to learn and I'm hoping that this video helps you so you don't have to learn a lesson the way many many others including myself had to so what happens is you know you guys share this experience and you talk about it and you feel like they can relate to you and they can understand you however that person's trauma or traumatic experience may run deeper than yours or they may not have gotten or may not be willing to get any assistance to help with that so for example if say you guys is just maybe bonded over the death of a parent right you're bonded over the death of a parent but unfortunately the parent that they were with may have been physically verbally or emotionally abusive and in turn they feel like the way to express love caring or just be in a relationship is to do the same thing to you and now you're bonded to this person because you feel like well we have these same things you understand them you empathize with them you know what it's like to have somebody leave and you don't want to leave them so now you've bonded yourself to this individual and it becomes a codependent relationship and then you start protecting your abuser because you're empathizing with their pain and their traumatic experiences what you have to realize is that their experiences is theirs alone and it's up to them to heal and get help for that you can never help someone not be in the place that they're in you can't help them heal their trauma you can support them you can be a safe space but if they're not willing to do the work 
you're going to be the victim of all of that traumatic experience, all of that abuse, neglect, hurt, and harm. So it is so very, very important that when you are dating and you find out that you and this person have traumatic experiences in common, that you start asking questions like, well, how did that make you feel? How have you dealt with that? How do you cope? How do you feel loved? How did they make you feel loved? You really want to get an understanding of that person's mindset as far as where they are with those traumatic experiences to know if they can function in a healthy relationship, to see if they have tools to help them, to know if they know their triggers so they'll know when to retreat, when to do work, when to ask for help, when to get help. Speaking of help, will they get help? Are they even willing to get help? Are they willing to go to therapy with you? Are, are they willing to work with you and have resourceful tools for your relationship so that you guys can work through things? No one is perfect and we all are a sum of our experiences. I always say that, but it's how we choose to deal with them that makes all the difference in the world. You know, two people can grow up in a family in a household and experience all of the same things, but they can have a different outcome as far as life and how they show up in their relationships. So it is important to not just look at what you two have in common as far as traumatic experiences, but how that person deals with it, where they are today, and how they really view relationships and whether or not they are willing to get help. That is so important. So make sure you do that. So don't just say, oh my God, we have this in common and start bonding over it. No, because you'll end up in a trauma bonding relationship. And then you'll start protecting your abuser, making excuses for their behavior, and you yourself will suffer in silence until you are ready. There's no need to go down that road. Okay, so this is why I feel like this message is important. If you meet someone and you guys have a traumatic experience in common, that does not mean that you two need to be together. That is not a sign. Okay, make sure you dig deeper. You yourself get the work done that you need done. Seek help for yourself. Find out if they have help and if they have a healthy mindset. And if you two are on that page where you can function healthy in this relationship, then move forward. Other than that, go your separate way and save your heart, save your mind, save your emotions, <laughs> save your well-being, okay? I, so I hope this video helps you. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And please don't forget to love yourself for who you are. Have a wonderful evening. Take care. Bye-bye.